Hello students, today we are solving the comparative static analysis and general function models uh, chapter exercises from Alpha C. Chiang. This is chapter 8.6. So we'll be starting with the first question here. So let uh, the equilibrium condition for the national income is SY plus TY equal to IY plus G0. When SYTIG stands for saving national income taxes, investment, and government expenditure, as usual. So, interpret the economic meanings of S dash, T dash, and I dash. So, S dash is uh, marginal propensity to save, T dash is marginal income tax rate. So, that is if income increased by one unit, so T dash is actually DT by DY. So, effect of this and uh, i dash is marginal propensity to invest that's it so what is the change in investment if change in income is happening so this is the first part second part is check whether the conditions of implicit function theorem is satisfied if so write the equilibrium identity so uh, writing the equilibrium uh, condition is that f of y g zero so this is s y plus ty minus iy minus g0 equal to 0 so we find that f has a continuous partial derivative so del f and del y is s dash plus t dash minus i dash that is not equal to 0 so as the implicit function therefore is implicit function theorem is applicable and the equilibrium identity is s of y star plus t of y star minus i of y star minus g0 is giving us this okay next c part find dy star by dg0 and discuss the economic implications so implicit function rule uh, dy star uh, d0 is minus minus 1 s dash t dash minus i dash so 1 by so this will be cancelled out so this will be greater than 0 as increase in the g0 will increase the equilibrium national income so that's it for this one now we go to question number two. So let the demand and supply functions of the commodity be QD and QS, where Y0 is income, T0 is the tax of the commodity, and all derivatives are continuous. Write the equilibrium condition for this in the single equation. So this is F, uh, P, Y0, T0, so D, P of Y0. So there is no savings uh, difference between this. They are, they are equal. So this is the first part done. Check whether the implicit function theorem is applicable. If so, write the equilibrium identity. F is continuous partial derivative. So F is continuous. PD partial derivative is applicable. Uh, so F of P is D of P minus S of P not equal to 0. So implicit function theorem is applicable. And the equilibrium identity D of uh, P star Y0 minus S of uh, P star T0 is identically equal to 0. So this is the first part done, B. Next, C, del P, del Y0 and del P star del T0 and discuss their economic implications. So the uh, economic implication of this part, C's part is very easy. So DP star DY0 is minus DY0, DP star and SP star, this is greater than 0 and del P star by del T0 is minus s s of t0 and uh, d of p star minus s of p star so this is greater than zero so an increase in the income or taxes will raise the equilibrium price in both cases so if y0 increases or t0 increases so this is the third part done fourth using the procedure similar to 8.37 find dq by dy0 so here uh, q star s of p star t0 so that's dq star by uh, dy0 is del s del p uh, del p del y0 so this is greater than 0 and the demand function this is a supply And the demand structure is Q star D E star Y0. So that's uh, del Q del T0 is del D del P star del P star 
del t is 0 and this is less than 0. So to use the demand function to get this thing would be more complicated here. So that's why we have done it in direct way. Okay. So now we move to question number 3. Uh, solve problem 2 by simultaneous equation approach. So this is also possible. So f of 1 uh, p q y 0 and t 0. So this is t p uh, y 0 minus q equal to 0 and f 2 p q Hmm. Uh, y0 and t0 so with respect to savings p t0 minus q equal to 0 so the Jacobian we need to take dp minus 1 sp and this will be minus 1 so sp minus dp is coming and that is not equal to 0 so that's the implicit function theorem still applies and we can write the equilibrium identities as d of p star y0 minus q star equal to 0 and s of p star t0 minus q star as 0. So the total uh, derivative if we do, we just insert a page. dp star dp dq star minus d of y0 dy0 sp star dp star dq star minus s of t0 d of t0 so y0 is differentiating uh, uh, this um, equi uh, liberating factor so we can take that dt0 is equal to 0 so here dp star minus 1 sp star minus 1 and del p star del y0 and del q star del y0 so these are the two values and that is equal to minus d of y0 and 0 okay so thus from this we can also solve that dp star dy0 equal to dy0 sp star and dp star so this will be positive and similarly del q star del y0 also dy0 sp star and here it is sp star minus uh, dp star and that is also positive so uh, when t0 is a disequilibrium factor we can simplify this thing so that uh, del p star del t0 equal to minus st0 sp star dp star and that is greater than 0 okay and del uh, q star by del t0 so this is minus st0 dp0 divided by s of p star minus dp star and that is negative next question number four is done uh, Oh, sorry number five uh, so which of the following national uh, consider the following national income model uh, okay ycig and this positive constant is the first equation of the <coughs> is the nature of an equilibrium condition answer is yes it is we, what is the total quantity demanded of the money in this model so that is k into y plus l of i Next, analyze the comparative statics of the model when the money supply changes and when the government expenditure changes. Okay, so uh, comparative static analysis we have to do. So let's insert a page. Take two equilibrium F1 equal to 0 and F2 equal to 0. Two equilibrium values. So first we have to go for the Jacobian non-zero thing. So del F, del Y, del F, del I. The del f2 del y and del f2 del i so 1 minus c k minus i l dash so this determinant is l dash 1 minus c minus uh, k i dash and that is negative so the implicit function theorem applies and we have the equilibrium identities y star c y star i of i star minus g0 equal to 0 and k y star plus l i star m is 0 equal to identically equal to 0 so m of s 0 is nothing but is the disequilibrating factor so we can get the equation 1 minus 
CK minus I dash L dash DY star D0 DI star D0 1 and 0 so this yields the results uh, del y star del g0 is l dash by j so that is positive and del i star del g0 equal to minus k by j that is positive okay hence the answer next there is another part is there any other part no okay so next is question number six in problem five suppose that while demand function still depends on the y is specified and is no longer affected by the interest rate how should the model uh, statement be revised okay so here uh, the first equation stands but the second equation should be changed and the second equation will be k y m of s zero equal to zero or k y plus l zero minus m is zero in that way we will write Next, write down the Jacobian called J. Okay, so this is you, uh, Jacobian is 1 minus C dash uh, minus I dash uh, K and uh, 0. So K I dash. So J dash is the smaller numerical value than J. Okay. So this is a comparison is also done. Would this implicit function uh, rule still apply? Answer is yes because it is non-zero. So this is still applicable. Find the new comparative static derivative. So this one uh, I will not be doing. So you have done it in the previous question. Just follow that pattern and you can do this stuff. E is uh, comparing the new dy dg0 in the problem 5. We can uh, conclude about the effectiveness of the fiscal policy in the new model when y is independent of y. So fiscal policy becomes uh, totally ineffective in the new model. Okay. So because this structure is not able to make any changes in the implicit variable, so that's why. If comparing the new del y del m is zero in the problem five, what you can say about the effectiveness of the monetary policy in the new model? Okay, uh, since uh, j dash is numerically smaller than j, okay, uh, so we can find that i by j dash is greater than i by j only okay so this is the monetary policy becomes so monetary policy becomes more effective in the new model and that's the end of this chapter's exercise